Ayo and welcome to Gallon's Corner. Welcome to a challenge video and not just any old challenge. This is going to be one of my toughest challenges yet. Um, I am going to spend the next seven days, well I'm going to attempt to survive the next seven days eating nothing but Rossler's products. Yeah, it's, it's going to test me to my very limits. I don't have a massive experience of Rossler's burgers, Rossler's products. I did review one a few years ago on my channel. Um, and quite frankly, I liken the taste of it to AIDS. Not that I've ever tasted AIDS, but that's what I'd imagine it would taste like. Now, I did get some feedback on that video that I'd cooked it wrong, that I need to toast the bonds and stuff. And if I cook it right, apparently it's quite pleasant. Um, that remains to be seen in my eyes, but we're going to test it, I guess. Um, because, yeah, seven days, no sustenance, but these repugnant muscles of burgers. It's going to be, I don't actually know how I'm going to survive. For your reference, I am six foot five. I'm very tall. Um, it requires a lot of fuel to feed this fire. I don't think I can get enough sustenance out of a puny little microwave or bubble burger a few times a day. Um, but... I guess that is the beauty of the challenge videos, you know, answering these great unanswerable questions. One man putting himself up against nature. Can it be done? The impossible challenge. Well, we're going to find out. All right. Anyway, it is Monday morning. Well, morning. It is half past 12. Um, thought I'd start it on a Monday, first day of the week, and I've got today off. Um, and I'm starting it a bit later, half past 12. I haven't eaten anything today. I've had no breakfast, but I've waited until this time, because I don't think I'm going to be able to eat loads of these every day. Like, I'm not going to be able to eat, like, four or five of these. It's going to do gross stuff to my insides, already suffer um, from anal issues, the old agony of the pharma dials. It's not something I'm looking to, to make worse. So I'm thinking for the duration of the challenge, it's got to be just about surviving. And I need to switch to a, a kind of a brunch dinner eating situation um there's no point doing breakfast i'll have a later kind of breakfast brunch meal and i'll have my evening meal um, and try and beat it that way we see i mean this is all a step into the unknown i've got no answers this is it is very much an experiment we might need to change it it might not work but that's the way i'm imagining it's gonna work best so i've waited till best you know nearly half 12 and i'm gonna consume this um, it is a sausage muffin. Um, I do like a sausage and egg muffin at McDonald's. It's my go-to breakfast at Macca's. Um, I can't imagine this will be like that, but we're going to give it a go. I've got one of these in and I've got a cheeseburger in already. Um, I figured we could take a trip to Big Tesco once the situation starts getting me down a bit and I need a bit more choice. I believe there's like Russell's ribs and stuff and different kinds of things that you can try. So... But yeah, I'm keeping that in reserve for day two or three when it starts to really hit. I'm thinking I can survive on this and the cheeseburger today. Um, and if not, I'll go grab another cheeseburger from the local co-op. Right, I'm going to stick it in a microwave. I'm going to cook it. I'm going to consume my first meal of the challenge. And yeah, let's see how we go. All right, here you go. I've taken it all out of the packet, kind of deconstructed it, so to speak. And um, I've read the instructions. So... Basically, I've got to stick this um, kind of pathetically pale pot of pork into the microwave. And that goes in for 1 minute 20 seconds. And then it needs to stand for 30 seconds. Uh, I then pop my cheese on top. And I guess as much ketchup as I can get out of that. And um, in terms of the bun, I am going to toast it. So many of you were really adamant in my... My previous video about Rossler when I tried it for the first time, that if you toast the buns, uh, it makes it a whole different experience. It really changes the whole outlook of the burger. So I am going to do that. All right. Stick this in the toaster, this in the nuke, and in approximately two minutes, uh, I shall be sitting down and having my brunch. Quick side note, just making a drink to go with it. Um, I am, I am going to have a kind of a preventative mobbing hole to accompany it. I don't know what that is going to do to my anus. And given my anal issues that I have suffered with, I just think it is, it's wise to take precautions. So I'm going to have this with my first meal, um, just in case it does bind me up slightly. A little bit of a stool softener 
you know, failure to prepare is failure, is preparing to fail. So, yeah, just just safety first. Right, as you can hear, brunch is cooking. I thought I'd turn you around quickly and show you my kitten while we're waiting for it to be done. Um, she's grown a lot since my previous vlog on her. So, yeah, let me just switch around and show All you. Right, there you go. She's kind of in her favourite place at the moment. She likes to sit beneath this house plan and kind of hide in there. Um, as you can see, I think she is much, much bigger. Um, she's still awesome though, aren't you, Penny? She's still an awesome little cat. I did miss her while I was away in Morocco. I've been away for a week on holiday. Um, and we're not quite as close as we were before we went away, I've noticed. Uh, I think we've got some catching up to do. But yeah, she's still awesome. We still get on well. And um, she's starting to get on a lot better with Lenny as well, which is nice. Uh, not proper friends yet, but she's definitely tried to play with him a lot. And um, if he wasn't so scared, I think they would be best mates by now. But yeah, I'll try and catch that on camera as well. All right, anyway, we've heard the ping. Brunch is ready. Um, let's go consume. <sighs> right, okay, here we go. Uh, this is the moment of truth. Um, hold on. God, it takes longer to get to, to chew up than you'd expect. It keeps kind of bouncing back. It's slightly robbery. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's much better now it's been toasted. Um, yeah, it's not like a, a, definitely not a 10 out of 10. It's not something you'd kind of look forward to eating. Um, but it's kind of cheesy and salty and not offensive and slightly stale tasting maybe. Slightly robbery. But I do think that actually I can do this. Although this is my first meal in what's going to be a seven day challenge. But yeah, initial thoughts are not too bad. I can eat this. It's not going to make me feel sick. Um, the only danger to me, I think, is when we get in for the long haul and it becomes monotonous. And, you know, it's if you eat the same thing, nothing but the same thing for seven days, you're going to get sick of it. Um, this isn't fantastic to begin with. So it's going to be more difficult than eating your average thing. But it, no drama. No drama at this point. I'm pretty, pretty confident I'm going to smash this. God, I am hungry. Um, it's like 4.30. Been sitting out in my garden listening to the Test Match TMS Live. It's a cracker. Like Ashes cricket is the pinnacle of sport for me. Uh, it's been a really exciting afternoon. But even that is it's struggling to distract me from the fact that I'm massively hungry. Um... I think maybe I've attempted to challenge a bit soon after my holiday. Like, I've been all-inclusive for a week. You know, all you can eat, three buffets a day. Uh, it feels very, very sparse in terms of food now in my life. Um, yeah, almost mourning the holiday a little bit, actually. I haven't really had the holiday blues, but I'm just thinking of the buffets, just the endless mounds of mashed potato, freshly cooked meat and stuff, and... Yeah, I've got a Rossler's cheeseburger to look forward to. I'm really hungry. I'd love a snack of some kind. Um, but yeah, it's not to be, is it? It's not to be. So I guess I'll just suffer in silence. All right, hey up and welcome to dinner time. Yeah, it is time to sample the next Rossler's delight. Uh, now, it's, it's nearly 20 past 7, which is much, much later than my usual dinner time. But as I explained earlier, I wanted to hold out as long as possible, switch into the two meal a day schedule. Um, it has left me pretty ravenous and really hungry right now. But to be fair, um, with the Ashes cricket this afternoon, uh, that was a decent distraction. You know, it's been on a knife edge. That's the great thing about the Ashes. It's like the Aussies versus the English. We're so evenly matched. We're so alike. They even speak our language. They're almost normal like us, but they're not quite. Uh, it's just brilliant cricket. And we took three wickets, which is a, 
a good evening session. Now, um, also had a bit of an issue with people turning up at my house this afternoon. Hasn't happened for ages, um, but I've had several people turn up expecting me to buy stuff. It's this new thing idiots are doing where they go onto like Facebook selling sites, um, White Bay, the local version of eBay, uh, and they see stuff for sale, give out my address and promise someone an extra tenner or a fiver if they deliver it to my home address. Uh, normally, it's really, really annoying, but the kind of anxiety of expecting, you know, is that car coming here? Am I going to have to go out and turn them away? Um, it, it did take away my appetite slightly, so they've kind of um, unwillingly aided me without knowing, I guess. I'm trying to look at the positive side of it. Anyway, let's crack the Rossler's burger open and um, have my last meal of the day. All right, let's do it. Okay, I have deconstructed the burger again. Now, uh, it's it's not looking as appetizing as my breakfast. I was slightly worried about this because it was the cheeseburger that I had last time that I really didn't like. Now, uh, the quality of the meat does look slightly better than I remembered. Uh, last time, it was like there were hundreds of little anuses uh, on there, little pocket anuses. It was weird. Uh, that does seem to be less anusy at least uh the quality of the bond is not as good as this morning's uh obviously i'm going to toast it but that won't be quite as nice i don't think but what's worrying me most of all and wanting to you know tempting me to err from the rules already is the ketchup now that is not traditional ketchup you might be able to see it in there there's bits in there um, that's like a tomato relish i don't like tomato relish i much prefer a traditional ketchup uh, massive temptation is to crack open the Heinz, bought the Heinz ketchup from the fridge and use that. But the rules are the rules. They are unflinching and I will live or die by them. I'm eating nothing but Rossley's products. And that includes the condiments. No better ketchup, no extra cheese. I live by the sword or die by the sword. Right, okay, it needs to go in for one minute and ten seconds. And I'll toss the bun. Right, I'll see you on the other side. Yeah, yeah, just look at this as I squirt it out. That is, it's so far from ketchup, it's unbelievable. Um, that's as much as I can stomach of that. And I'm only having that on there to, to meet minimum moisture requirements, really. It's going to be dry as anything and gross as anything. But right, Okay, here goes nothing. Dinner, day of one, cheeseburger. Right, that was um, that wasn't very good. That was way, way worse than my breakfast bap. Um, in fact, I'd go so far as to say that was crap. Uh, and it was really, really hot. It was kind of hot crap, burnt my mouth a little bit. Um, also, still really, really hungry, which is an issue. I, I'm just unsatisfied by it. It's filled a hole, but I've got three or four more holes that still need filling, and it wasn't very tasty. Rossler's cheeseburgers, I just don't think are very good, which is weird, because it should be my favourite thing. I, I love a, a, a normal cheeseburger, an everyday cheeseburger. They're one of my favourite foods. You'd think I'd like that, but there you go. Yeah, I'm going to be really hungry once I finish streaming later, I can already tell. So I think tomorrow we might have to have a rethink, go to three meals a day, or at the very least get some kind of rossless snack. Oh God, someone's at my house to deliver something. Right, okay, I better go deal with this. Ugh, it's just so awkward and embarrassing that some poor bloke who's got to be 60 if he's a day, and he's struggled to load in a treadmill into the back of his car and then driven it all the way over there, expecting me to be here to take it out the back and pay him and stuff. I don't need a treadmill. I don't want a treadmill. Stop sending people to my house. Like, it's annoying for me, but I can deal with it. You know, I'm, unfortunately, I'm used to it by this point, but it's all these other people you're dragging into it. Like, what are you getting out of it? You're just wasting random people's time. Just knobheads, absolute knobheads. No, that's me done for the day. <laughs> Good afternoon to you. I have finished work and I'm about to pop into the little co-op for some supplies. Uh, had hoped to go to Big Tesco today, uh, but apparently there's already people delivering stuff to my house, so I feel like I should go back there and save mum from it. So, 
yeah, limited supplies, but they do stock rustlers here, so I will be able to survive. Right, let's see what I can find. Right, my purchases are complete. I've got myself two more of those breakfast baps, because they were the best thing I had yesterday, and one of the cheeseburgers. I know I didn't really enjoy the cheeseburger last night, but my thinking is if I retain some of the ketchup from the breakfast baps, I can at least have normal ketchup rather than relish, which should improve it significantly. Yeah, um, I'm tired. Work was brutal. It was just horrible being back there after my holiday last week. You know, it's the first time I've been abroad in 17 years. And yeah, I didn't enjoy being back at work. I just, I couldn't sleep last night. You know, when you know you're going back to work and you're anxious, um, just kept me awake. And also, um, my tummy was so noisy last night. The Rossler's burger was, it was like it was still cooking in there. It was just bobbling away. And um, this morning, Jesus, this morning, I don't know whether it was the mother cold that I drank, whether that was a mistake or what, but on the bathroom, you know, having my bioevacuation first thing in it, it was like a, a spitfire trying to start up, you know, <laughs> bloody awful shit fire is what it was. It was horrific, absolutely horrific. Left me feeling drained um, and a bit achy in the old bowel area, stomach and stuff. So I didn't have, obviously, eat anything this morning. And yeah, I'm hungry, tired now. So yeah, let's get home and have all of my breakfast baps. All right, I'm back home again. Um, Mum has got my cousin's kid over. She's looking after this baby. Well, I say baby, she's a couple of years old now, but um, I just don't like this kid. Can you hear it in the background? Just moans all the time. Anyway, I got back and the kitten was uh, just desperate to get out of that hell hole. So I brought her out into the garden while I uh, I show you my ways. I mean, as I said, it's nothing exciting. Um, basically what I had yesterday, just with an extra breakfast bap. Here we go, right breakfast bap which i'll have in a minute another breakfast bap and a quarter pounder with cheese so i'm thinking brunch dinner post stream snacks later um although i might actually do a little daytime stream in a minute and have my rosslyn burger for lunch while i'm streaming it's not like i'm going to go back in that house and enjoy myself is it i may as well shut myself away in the streaming room plus actually i've got a chat to have with me people from a discord server i'm taking some action i've just spent way too much of my time concentrating and sorting out people doxying and coming to my house and stuff i'm just gonna make some changes so i can come back to just making these videos god that sound in the background's horrible you all right penny i don't know how long she's been shot in there with that unfortunately some babies just like some people um, they are a bit twatty. Oh, here comes Len. Let's see if we get a little meeting on camera. It seems to be quieting down. We're going to go back in soon, Cat. I do need to wait. Len, come say hello. Come here. You sit there. Here he is. He's more interested in the Rosslers burgers. Actually, that's something I've noticed. Uh, he is getting a bit annoyed with me having these Rosslers burgers because he thinks they're McDonald's, I think. Um, and when I get McDonald's, I do buy a cheeseburger for Lenny with no onions and stuff in. Um, and he's obviously not been getting a Rosslers burger, so he's been a little bit sulky with me since I began the challenge. Hey, up. I thought I would give you a little update. Um, first signs of struggle with the challenge I'd say this afternoon um, it's not just that I'm kind of hungry low level hungry low level unfulfilled it's that I don't feel like I've been fueled effectively I know I've been fed but I don't feel like I've been effectively fueled I feel about 10-15% down on my usual strength and vigour I would estimate at this point I've just been trying to work out in the garden cut the grass and stuff Um I just feel like weaker than I'd usually be, if that makes sense. I don't feel like I, the fire has been fed properly with inside me. I feel like I've been impeded by what I'm eating. Like, usually I have much bigger lunches. I would just, 
Yeah, I would have eaten a hell of a lot more and I would have got a lot more out of it as well normally. It's not been an enjoyable process. Eating has not been the joy that it usually is. Um, maybe I'm just frustrated with the cricket as well. I re really, really need a wicket. But even that, I feel a little bit, you know, not down about, but not as upbeat. You know, usually I'm right behind Basball. Like, you know, belief is there within me. I believe in Basball. It's the way forward. But I just don't feel like we're going to knock another wicket down. It's just, it's a lethargy is what it is. I feel like a, a relentless rustler's lethargy is the best way to describe it. I'm just not quite my usual self. And there's nothing to look forward to, really. I always reach this stage. It feels like it's come earlier than usual, but I'm not looking forward to dinner, even though I'm hungry. Um, yeah, it's it's the first signs of struggle within the challenge, anyway. I'm inside now. I'm going to stick TMS back on, and we hope for the best in Basball, we believe. But a bit of a struggle this afternoon. Boo. What a catch! Did you see it? It was exceptional. Pure, pure reflex. We are in with a chance here. More than a chance. We should smash their back bloody doors in. Brilliant. Right. It is, um, it's nearly quarter to 11 in the evening now. Um, I finished my stream about 20 minutes ago. And in the kind of intervening period, I have been mainly pooing. Um, don't know whether it's the Rosslers burgers, like the diet of only Rosslers is already having a detrimental effect on my health, or whether it's something I picked up while I was in Morocco. Mum did have a bit of a dodgy tummy when she first got back, but um, yeah, it was repugnant. It was, it was like that scene from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with the chocolate river, just horrific, and now I feel all that loose and... Like my bowels are doing a gobbledy doo dance. it's just, it's not a nice feeling. Um, I've eaten one Rossler's breakfast bath today, nothing else. I was planning to have a dinner and a post-stream cheeseburger or something, and I've just not got around to it. I haven't been able to just gather the desire to eat what with the ashes. You know, that was disappointing. I thought we would get another wicket at least. I thought it would go down to, I thought they'd be nine down, you know what I mean? It just felt like it was set up to be on that knife edge, but it just wasn't to be, which was disappointing. Um, and then just this endless stream of people coming to my house trying to deliver stuff. It hasn't stopped. It's just, it's made me all that like, anxious and stuff. I just haven't felt like eating. And what's on offer, I really don't want to eat. Um, yeah, it's worrying. I'm only on day two of the challenge. I'm not even halfway yet. And I'm already struggling both mentally and physically. I don't really know what to do about that. But I'm hoping a good night's sleep. But I'll awaken, you know, awaken reinvigorated and stuff with the um, the fire back in my belly or maybe actually hopefully not any kind of fire in my belly that's kind of an issue at the moment but with the, the desire to push it through you know and I don't think I'm going to fail the challenge I know I've got enough enough gumption and kind of willpower about me to push it to the to the seven days but it's worrying that I'm already struggling that I'm already kind of despondent with it and my, my guts and stuff are already struggling it's it's just not been a good day, I guess. And sometimes you don't have good days. I'll chalk it down to that. And hopefully tomorrow will be a better one. Right, good morning. Um, you'll have to forgive my face. I don't like to record this early normally. But I've got to go to work this morning. And I'm far, far, far too hungry to do that without eating. So... I am going to have to have a quick early morning at Rosslers before I head off um, and go with the sausage McMuffin. Yeah. I slept a lot better last night. It might not look it, but I did sleep better. I'm just a bit hay fevery this morning um, and I have just had a bowel movement, which is just ungodly. I definitely, definitely did not need that mother call on the first day. It's... Um, yeah, the natural effect of rustlers appears to be very similar. Anyway, I'm going to cook this up, have a rustlers. Um, it's obviously, it's a sausage muffin one. Um, and I get myself to work. Really, really unenthusiastic this morning, but hopefully I feel better as the day goes and once I've got some food in me. Hey up, right, I've finished work, just popped into the co-op to restock, same old stuff unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um, 
thought I'd better give you a bit of an update. I mean, none of it's great, to be fair. It's kind of like, welcome to Poo Town, population me. Is how I'm feeling. Work was a nightmare. This morning was a nightmare, so I had less than half for my pathetic little pock of breakfast bap. Um, phone hadn't charged last night. I'd stuck it in the charger. I thought it was charging, but I'd forgotten to turn it on at the plug. Having to get used to that because of Penny, the kitten, uh, she chews on wires. So I'm turning everything off now. I didn't charge my phone last night, which put me on the back foot. You know, I had less than 5% by the time I'd finished my little morning update before I'd even eaten. Didn't even use it on the boss, just sitting there with my own thoughts. I mean, I've taken my charger and managed to get a bit of charge in it, but it's a battle when you forget overnight. Even now, I'm only up like 22%. Yeah, I've had to, as well, at work, I had to go into a bathroom and relieve myself. Stomach is just, it's like a nuclear reactor. and It's really, really not a pleasant experience. I've been trying to think, like, tomorrow is, you know, hump day, as they call it, halfway through. I kind of thought it was today because it's Wednesday, but it's not just a working week. I'm doing it a full seven days, so that's... Maybe slightly despondent, but tomorrow is a halfway point. I'll get to test goals and I'll get some different Rossler's products, but I've just been trying to open my mind. Like I normally get through these challenges because I can think of inventive ideas to do with food and stuff. Sitting on the bus on the way home, just trying to let my mind go a bit blank and think of something. It didn't work. Um, although I did have some kind of idea, so... Um, went past this little dog, one of those little rat-like creatures. I think it was like a Pomeranian. Looks like... Um, tiny miss like a runty fox anyway it was pooping um i could see out the window and this lady cleaned it up good owner yeah like you should um but it was a tiny little poop um obviously i've got a saint bernard lenny and we're talking double handfuls when he goes um and it just sparked something in my mind um i started thinking of like could you create like a fecal neutral environment would that be possible? My mind started racing with possibilities. Dung beetles? You know about dung beetles? You know, they're strong. Yeah, you bugger. They can lift like their own weight in poop. More than. And they consume this poop. They love it. So now I'm thinking, like, is that possible? If you created, like, a beetle-rich environment in your garden, could you achieve fecal neutrality? Would you never have to go and clean that up? Would they just be, you know, eating their share? I don't know if anyone has investigated the possibilities, the feasibility of this, but it's an idea, isn't it? It's something to think about. You can have your own fecal neutral environment. Fecal neutrality would be perfect. It's one of the big downers about being a dog owner. You just, well, especially with a dog like I've got, you're just always endless amounts of poops. I mean, you need a hell of a lot of beetles to clean up after him, but it's something to think about. Um, I'm no closer to thinking of something to do with the Rosslers doll that's gonna make the challenge easier, but, at least the mind is working. At least the mind is still working, even if it feels like the body's starting to fail a bit. Right, I'm almost out of my alleyway. I don't really want to show you the road I live on, although enough of you know it anyway. So I'll end this little vlog update, and hopefully next time I see you, I'll have come up with something. Right, just a sticker, a cherry on the crap cake that today is. Um, I'm now sitting in my garden, and I can't even go into my house currently. Um, my mother, the thoughtless wench that she is, is frying up sausages in the kitchen for her to consume. Uh, how am I meant to deal with that? I've had half a pock of gristle and rubbish breakfast bap, breakfast bap my arse. That's what I've consumed today. And I'm meant to walk into a kitchen stinking of sausages. Like sausages are behind bacon and that's pretty much it in terms of enticing smells. That's Temptation City in there and I can't deal with it right now. It's thoughtless and it's selfish. You know, she's saying, oh, it'll only take me a minute to finish. Yeah, the physical act of cooking will be done in a minute, but what about the smell? The smell's for keeps, and that's what I've got to deal with. So now I'm just sitting out in my garden, waiting for it to drift away. It's rubbish. All right, my kitchen is a far more bearable place to be again. The, the smell of sausage has seeped out somewhat, and um, my mother has scuttled back off to wherever she came from. Uh, anyway... Um, that's not the important thing. The important thing is I've had a mental breakthrough. I've come up with something. And you would. you just got to think around the problem, you know. Back your brains. Um, so, uh, a little while ago, I, I ventured back into the kitchen. And I was, you know, ready to give my mother the eyes, the, the stern glare. 
Um, she had, as I said, dealt scuffled off. So I had to kind of console myself with just a, an angry look at the frying pan, the, um, the, the offending implement that she'd used to create the smell to torture me. Anyway, I'm giving it a little look and um, bang, it hits me. The Rossler's Challenge is surviving on Rossler's products only for seven days. There is nothing in the rule book about how I have to cook these products. You know, yeah, that's a suggested serving, isn't it? Suggested cooking process, stick it in the microwave for one minute, 20 seconds. But I don't have to abide by that. If I should so wish to, I could pop that patty between my buttocks and gently warm it up that way. There would be no rules broken. Um, so I'm going to fry it up. It just makes good sense, doesn't it? What meat tastes better when you microwave it? No meat. No meat tastes best microwaved. I'll fry that meat right up, that burger right up, and have a, a much more pleasant eating experience. I'll still toast the buns, but I'll fry it. It's absolutely genius, and there is nothing in the rule book about it. I'm still abiding by the challenge. I'm just thinking creatively. Solutions. I don't think it's going to improve my stomach, which really is struggling at the moment. Um, I'm still eating the same food, but at least I can enjoy it a bit more. Um, I'm going to wait till this evening before I try this at the cheeseburger because I think my tummy, it does need at least one more poo uh, before I attempt eating again. It's, it's really not very happy. And I say pooing, but it's not pooing as we traditionally know it. It's a far more liquid process. Anyway, one problem at a time. We've got a solution that's going to improve the challenge significantly. Um, that's good. I needed that. I've been really struggling so far. And tomorrow, I'll get myself off to Tesco's and get, you know, more different Rossler's products and really see this challenge home, hopefully. Yeah, I, I am sickened to my very soul. It's part of it is the challenge, the fact that I've got toxic food, very little of it, just permutating in my belly. But most of it is just the state of the universe, all right? So, a little while ago, I picked up a phone call, which is always a mistake. It's my energy company. They've been trying to phone me for ages, but I haven't been wanting to pick it up. Like, I pay my direct debit. Just leave me alone. Anyway, they wanted me to do a meter reading. And so, okay, scrambling around the side of my house, getting down there all overgrown and cracked open the meters. Signals all terrible, but eventually I give her the readings, right? And she goes very, very quiet. Uh, places me on hold. I come back in. Um, she comes back to me and she announces in a very serious voice that I owe the best part of £4,000. Uh, it took my breath away. I, I, did, I couldn't say anything for a moment. And I was, are you mental? What are you talking about? I pay my bills every month, right? And she's giving it this chatter that she's linked into it and that They've been coming round. Someone's been coming and checking the meters. I remember someone coming, but he's only been doing the electric, not the gas. They've been going on an estimated reading for like ages. And now uh, it's she's saying it's £4,000 nearly. I couldn't believe it. Uh, you've made a mistake. What are you talking about? You've lost your mind. I don't I have a, like a bath, but I haven't used £4,000 of gas. What on earth is going on? She's going on about energy bills going up by 80% and stuff. And she's serious. She's serious. Uh, she actually, that's what I owe. That is just, the you, the world has gone crazy. I've agreed to nothing. I've had to, I've told her I've got to process this news. I've made myself a cup of tea to come and sit down. I'm just done with the world. And this, this is on top of, right, I was catching the boss home from work earlier, just scrolling through TikTok, having a little look, thinking about my second channel and stuff. And I come across a live stream. I kid you not, it's Michael Barrymore. Just sitting there, gay as you like. And I don't mean gay in a homosexual way. I just mean like he's proud and, you know, Happy, just sitting there, live streaming to 400-odd people. Michael Barrymore, he basically bombed a young lad to death. What on earth is going on? I own the best part of four grand for bloody gas, and Michael Barrymore streaming on TikTok. I'm done with the world. I'm done with the world. The universe is just a dark and twisted place at this point. Can't even think about eating. I don't want a Ross's burger at the Roman. My stomach's eating itself with anger and tension. Should be reacting to second channel stuff. I can't even face that. It's going to be deviant and gross, just like the world is. 
Jesus Christ. Right, I've pulled myself together a little bit. I mean, I'm still shocked and disgusted, but man needs to wait. So, uh, it's time to answer the question that I posed earlier. Can you fry a Rossley's burger? Well, of course you can fry a Rossley's burger. You can fry any piece of meat, can't you? It's going to be nicer, I reckon, than in the microwave. So, I'm going to pop it in the pan there. And I'm thinking, say, eight minutes or so. Make sure it's kind of piping hot all the way through. Uh, gonna toast the bonds, of course, uh, and then use the Rossler's cheese. I do have some actual ketchup that I've retained from the, the breakfast bappage. Um, uh, you might hear Lenny, he's in the background now in the kitchen because I'm cooking. Uh, he's open for a little bit. He had some more breakfast bap, so a precedent has been set for him. He's hopeful, right? Can you hear that? That's sizzling, so I'll turn you around and show you how. Right, now she blows, now she blows, cooking away. Um, yeah, like I say, I reckon about eight minutes, four minutes each side, and job's a good one. Well, at least a better one. All right, better put the bottom in the toaster. All right, I've just got this. The, um, the burger's cooking away in a frying pan. It smells um, fatty. I would say is the best way to describe it, which is better than the microwave where it smells sweaty. Um, but I just noticed this on the packet when I was um, digging the cheese out and stuff, right? This is not the tomato relish that I got with my first one. This is a signature sauce. That's left me with quite a quandary. Do I kind of spin or stick, switch or stick? Do I go with this, the unknown, or do I stick with the Rossler's ketchup? I might mix a little bit of this in with the ketchup and just see. Actually, you know what? You know what? No, my stomach's been too bad. I don't want any extra risks. I know I'm safe with ketchup. I'm going to lay that to one side, pop it in the fridge for later in the challenge, maybe. Let me know whether that's a good decision. Is there signature sauce good? Have I denied myself there? I somehow doubt it, but you'll let me know, I'm sure, in the comments. All right, I've had to turn the extractor fan on because it really is kicking off a right fatty fog now. Um, but I think I'm just about done. I placed uh, what was a cheese slice on it. It's just disintegrated upon opening the packet. That, that is a real issue I'm finding with the Rossler's burgers is the quality of the cheese slices. All right, let's get it out, stick it in the bun and we give it a go. It's tough. It's very, very tough is my overwhelming impression so far. Yeah, very tough, very tough. All right, well, let it breathe for a minute. And I'll give it a taste test. Right, okay, here we go. First meal I've had for a little bit now where I've sat down with some kind of excitement, at least about it. It could be a bit different. Um, for informational purposes, I'm accompanying my Rossley's burger with an orange juice. Um, going heavy on the fruit juices now. I'm very aware that there's not an awful lot of kind of goodness in a Rossler's burger is there I'm getting none of my five a day you know it fills space it fills the space inside you but it's very much just renting that space an intestinal Airbnb if you will anyway enough talking let's try the pan fried Rossler's cheeseburger that's way better that is infinitely better Mm. Mm. Still chewy. Mm. Mm. Little zip just to hurry that bite along so I can give you my verdict. But while still chewy, there's textures to that, there's little crunchy bits and stuff. That is infinitely better. Um, it's not just that it's tasting better, it's tasting of possibilities. You know, that actually could just be the beginning. Why not fire up a barbecue? Smoke a Rossley's burger. Yeah, that is possibilities. Infinite possibilities. Right, I'm going to enjoy that a lot more than I've enjoyed a meal for a while. I'll speak to you later. Mm. Good morning. It is day four of the challenge. Welcome to Thursday. All right, I don't feel good this morning. I feel physically broken and mentally just dirty. 
it's I don't know, fueling myself on this satanic meat has just left me feeling like, you know, when you're hungover, you've got that debased, horrible feeling the next morning, um, but without any of the good bits, without any like the, the surprising horn where you're watching this morning and suddenly even Alison Hallman might be a goer. It's just the low dirtiness feeling. It's gross. No man should start his day with a bioevacuation like that, you know, the smell of it is grotesque. It's The whole experience is horrible. Normally, I quite enjoy my morning poo. I'll go in there. I'll read BBC gossip column. You know, I've normally got time to make my frothy coffee before I go in there. And it's like a whole process. And I just, you know, you have a minute or two while it all warms up. And then Bob's your uncle. But this is so different. It's, it's like, no, bang, it's happening. It's happening now. Near and present danger, you know, in there, boom. Like my body's giving the verdict on the rustlers, like, and the verdict is get out of thy body ASAP. The smell is grotesque, you know. It's the smell. It, it's just there's no way to describe it. It's like awful, isn't it? Intestinal awful stench wafting out, gross. I keep thinking, you know, it's eyeballs and arseholes. That's what that smell is. Your body's struggling to process the eyeballs and arseholes of various malformed pigs and cows probably like three-legged jobs the bits that no one's meant to eat of the animals that no one's meant to see you know it's a it's a dark combination um yeah uh, orange juice i'm having for breakfast and a frothy coffee because i can't i just can't ingest another rustlers at this time of the day it's after what's just happened in the bathroom i can't face eating and I know that's not going to help the problem, is it? Orange juice, but I need the vitamins. Frothy coffee, but I, I need the caffeine. I need some energy, some sugar to feel awake. I shouldn't have got the, the smooth orange juice. I thought it was, you know, really adhering to the rolls, but I do like one with the pulp in, and I could have done with that fibre. The plus, the orange juice plus, I could have done with that. Something in me, at least. Yeah, that, it's not good. It's not a good start to the day. I don't know how I'm going to even get to work. I dread being away from a toilet that long. The bus takes 40 minutes and it's often late as well. I just feel like I need to be near a toilet, but I don't have that luxury. So I'm going to go, I'm going to use a different bathroom. I'm not going back to the one where my leavings are. The stench will be lingering, but I'm going to use a different bathroom. And I feel like I'm going to have to repeat that whole process and drag myself to work. Yeah not enjoying this challenge at all all right i am back home from work now um work was absolute arse as expected to be honest with you um and although i am kind of on great um my stomach also feels rubbish it's not like a, a good honest hunger it's uh it's like a warning sign hunger. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but I don't, I'm not going to attempt to eat a rustlers at the moment. Um, what I have done, because I just feel like I'm flagging a bit, to be perfectly honest with you, like a challenge is really taking it out of me and I feel like my spirits are low. Um, so I've given myself a bit of a head shake, um, trimmed the old facial hair as well. Uh, and I've changed into my t-shirt and shorts and stuff, trying to get back into holiday mode, I guess. Um, and also, like, the challenges just made me feel dirty, you know, in my mind and in my bowels, my inside. So at least if I feel trimmed up, it might improve my outlook a bit, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to potter around in the garden and try and create a good, honest hunger. Uh, let me just show you something. This is why it's a bad idea to wear your holiday clothes. That is dog muck. Um, got forced onto the grass verge to make room for some old people and splat right in the middle of dog muck, just been smearing it off on the bloody pavement. That is why we can't have nice things in this country. That is why you can't enjoy yourself like you would abroad. Step in a steaming pile of bloody dog muck. I know I'm moaning, I've just been moaning for like the last 10 minutes, but 
It's just a chore. That's it. I can't make any more now. That is my entire thing for the day. One pathetic pock of fake pork meat. Not even finished. Not even finished. It's just... It's, I know it's because I'm fixated on it. It's because I'm fixated on it. Yeah, I'm lucky to have food. I'm lucky to have food. Like some people would kill to have a ample as many as you want Rossler's burgers a day. And it's just because my mind is my mind's powerful, is what it is. It's powerful and I'm fixated on the fact that I can eat nothing but it. But it's just it's just a cheesy semi sweet mess. It's just gross. It's it's the food equivalent of watching nothing but the Jeremy Carl show non-stop for days on end like the Jeremy Carl show great watching episode you know enjoy it but you can't watch it non-stop for days you start to feel dirty and disgusting you don't want that in your around you anymore and that's how I feel about this food equivalent of Jeremy bloody Kyle I can tell you what my mum said now even now though I think it might make me be sick but I couldn't obviously couldn't face it before eating like I said but I was cooking this you know obviously giving up on the frying just couldn't be asked. you can't polish a turd but when the microwave finished she came in she said it smells like popcorn that does meaty popcorn it almost set me off because in you know the thought is it's just joints isn't it like bits of popping joints from deformed little piglets and stuff she's probably not far wrong it probably is like meat popcorn it's disgusting really at the end with this challenge hating all of it now shouldn't have taken it on so close after coming home massive holiday blues all I can think about is the, the feast I had in Morocco like oh. yeah I'm going to stop now at least I've got something inside me. I've got an hour or so to try and let it settle before the stream. Crap. Crap challenge. Crap food. Good afternoon to you. Um, welcome to Friday. Welcome to day five of the challenge. Um, as you can see, I think... It, the physical toll that this challenge has taken is etched on my face. When I started this, I was all brown, brown berry from a holiday, um, all relaxed, and now here I am, pale. Bags under my eyes, probably lost loads of weight. Um, yeah, struggling, massively struggling. I have pooed five times today. There's probably more information than you need to know. Thank God work was a really short day. Quiet this week after the festival last week, but it's awful. I had hope this morning, went to the bathroom and it felt a tiny bit firmer. Um, not talking like major breakthrough, but it felt like a soft sausage, a couple of little soft sausages. But once they were out, um, it was more like, you know, a can of Heinz, beans and little pork sausages and then it's just deteriorated from there it's like a swamp soup my anus is producing a swamp soup um i, I can face going to tesco's i can't face emergency pooing like there is a toilet there next to the little costa in the big superstore but i'm not for that like it's ungodly the sound and the smell i'm not selfish man i'm not going to inflict that on other people Imagine you get stuck in the stool next to me, or worse yet, you have to go clean the toilets after me. I'm not that man. Um, I did go into a different co-op uh, just to get something different. I can't face the pork rib. I know everyone says that's nice, but I've eaten so much of their pork with the breakfast baps, it just makes me feel sick. Um, the thought of it just makes me feel sick. I've got this chicken thing. It's different at least, but when I want to, you think of a chicken burger, you think of it like fresh lettuce and all that lovely stuff. It's not going to be that. It's just going to be that horrible fake sweetened bread, which I can't even eat. Like, I don't even eat white bread normally because I'm a 
Tommy, like, I'm all right normally. Like, I can manage my Tommy and my anus. You know, I just stick to brown bread, porridge and stuff in the mornings. I'm just careful with my diet. I don't eat that kind of bread normally. And just eating that bread and their meat. It's finished, mate. I'm not for eating now. I've not eaten yet today. Um, and it's only like... What time is it? It's not even half one yet. Um, the afternoon stretches out before me and I'm going back to bed. Probably going to have to poo again first. But sleep is the last refuge, isn't it? There's no pain in sleep. There's no horrible feeling in sleep. What's there to be awake for at the moment? Feel crap. Can't eat anything to make me feel better. Um, we might as well just nap. Snooze the afternoon away. Listen to some talk sport videos on YouTube and just drift off. Fingers crossed. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Okay. Here you go. The time is it's nearly half past seven and I can't really put it off any longer. Um, it's time for me to consume something. My kind of daily meal, I guess it is at this point. That's what I'm down to, isn't it? <sighs> Mum's running a bath now because I've just had one. She's so jealous. Covetous. Anyway, this is what I'm having for my dinner. For my daily meal, Rossler's Southern Fried Chicken Sob. Uh, it's got a picture of it with lettuce in the bap. There'll be no lettuce. There'll be no fresh greenery. Creamy mayonnaise, apparently, it's got as well. That makes me feel sick. Creamy mayonnaise. Anyway, let's open it up. I need to eat. All right, here you go. As predicted, there is absolutely no lettuce or freshness in there. Uh, what there is, is two strips of something that is, I believe, pretending to be chicken. It's very, very stodgy, dense, solid. Um, doesn't smell good either. It just smells like kind of batter, raw batter. Anyway, we'll pick these out, stick them in the nuke, stick them in the microwave and... Toast the bun as best I can, I guess. Yeah, it's disappointing. I don't know why I'm disappointed after nearly a week of disappointments, Ross's disappointments, but that has left me particularly dis Yeah, really disappointed. All right, let's keep it. Right, there you go. There is the finished article. Cooked to perfection. A, um, a masterpiece in beige. Yeah, I mean, I, I should be, you know, Luke on the bright side. At least it's a granary roll. I've managed to get it toasted. Um, the nuggets, the bits of chicken are really disappointing. So dense. Air fryer would be great for that, you know. Just make it crispy on the outside at least. At least then you wouldn't think about the weird... Oh, God, it's like a slog, isn't it? Looks like a dead slog. It all reminds me of radioactive stuff. Like, chicken shouldn't be that dense. There should be some kind of giving there. Makes you think of what's created that. You know, some bloody overfed, genetically altered kind of super chicken is what I'm thinking. It's just great big bloody bollocks that are lopping off and sticking in Rossler's burgers. I hope it's a long way from the truth. It will be a long way from the truth. They're not giving chickens testicles steroids to make Rossler's burgers out of, but the mind does go to the worst. Anyway, I'm going to zhuzh it up with a bit of mayo and we go eat it. All right, okay, I am ready to try it. My mother's got in the bath now. Um, she really is so easily influenced. Just because you see me having a bath, it doesn't mean you have to have one now. You know, it really is copying me, isn't it? Monkey see, monkey do. Advertiser's dream. Um, I had a bath because I thought it would cheer me up a little bit. You know what I mean? Feeling physically and mentally down. I thought it might cocoon me slightly. I don't like to say that because Amy once tried to spoil baths for me, saying it was me wanting to recreate being in the womb. I want nothing to do with my mother's womb. I just enjoy a nice relaxing bath, but yeah, anyway, she's in there. I've got this. I guess we better try it. I'm not enthused by this, but at least it's something different. It is something different. Oh, it's crap. I can tell from the first bite. really crap.
That's so disappointing. All I can taste is a really crappy bomb. It's not nice at all. I should have toasted the outsides as well. And the chicken is horrible. None of the meat really tastes any different. Whether it's chicken, whether it's pork, whether it's beef, that might taste slightly different. But it's all just really fatty and really gross and horribly, horribly chewy. I can force it down with a glass of water, but I just want something else in there. There is never a contrasting flavour. It's a spice of life. You know, just some salad in there, lettuce. Mum's got these posh pea shoots in the fridge. I poo pooed the posh pea shoots, said they were bourgeoisie. I'd love some of the little pea shoots in there, something crunchy, red onion, onion, any kind of onion is what I really want. You know, that's what makes the burgers, the bits of onion, the lettuce, the good cheese. There's no even any bloody burgy cheese with this. Any socks. I'm just going to eat it. I'm just going to force it down with a glass of water. It literally is sustenance. Just enough to keep me going. Hey up and welcome to day six. Um, thank God. It's Saturday today, and I'm not working because I am in quite a state. Um, I'm super, super tired. In fact, the only reason I think that I'm awake at this point is my mother has started hoovering downstairs. Um, I would have a word with her, but it's such a rare event. I think I should just let her carry on. Um, yeah, last night was a struggle. I think I got some footage of the weather. Um, I've included it because I don't know whether you're about to hear it, but the camera picked it up. But in the middle of the night, my stomach was just bobbling again. Um, several trips to the bathroom. Um, and then at like 4 a.m. this morning, uh, Lenny was going mental. He wanted to go out into the garden. I let him out there and he just wanted to drink and drink and drink. Um, I gave him the end of my Rossler's chicken thing yesterday uh, and he ate that. And now I feel bad. That's obviously damaged him in a way. You know, it's made him massively dehydrated. And they've been giving him that devil food again. Um, yeah, I've got him right now. I'll be honest with you. My anus is in agony. And I know it happens so often. It is. It's my Achilles heel, isn't it? My Achilles anus. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really low. And... If I'm being perfectly honest, I'm thinking I'm going to have to stop the challenge because, you know, if it carries on like this again tomorrow, I don't even know if I'll be able to go to work on Monday. Um, and I can't not go to work. I've had too much time off already. I'm a holiday and stuff, you know, I'm on a zero hours contract. I just can't risk that. But I'm going to try and push through. Um, we're at that stage, kind of breaking case of emergency. Um, I'm pulling out the rib burger. I've held off so far. Everyone says it's the best thing they do. Um, but it needs to be good. I need it to save me right now. So let's go cook it and eat it. And hopefully it'll be really nice. And hopefully it will settle my stomach down. But yeah, it's really, really taking it out of me, this challenge. Now, here we go. Before I open it up and cook it, I thought I'd just show you the front of the burger, the packaging. Um, very much like last night, we have a, an incredibly enticing picture on the front looking. Well, it looks lovely, doesn't it? There's lettuce in there, there's red onion. Um, obviously, none of that will be included. It will just be a limp piece of fake pork and a crappy bun. Um, should be done on the false advertising. I wish I'd thought about this challenge more before I started. And, just allowed myself to add some salad to the burgers. It would have made all the bloody difference. But I did say eating nothing but Rossler's products. So that's all I can have. All right, let's open her up and cook it. Right, it's in the microwave. The burger is cooking. Um, for your information, since I filmed my, my first morning update, um, I've already had to poo again. Um, hemorrhoidally... Uh, I've got another one. He's brought his mate along now. Uh, two turgid, twisted little lumps of pain sitting on the precipice of my anus. It's not a good situation. Um, and that is not a good smell. Well, it's not, it's not what I want to smell. It's not 
from a particularly like traditionally bad smell the rib burger it's it just smells incredibly savory it just smells like something that i don't want to eat when i'm feeling rough um i'm just craving something really really simple something that will say i want porridge i just want a bowl of porridge to settle down my stomach not a whole rib burger but it's pinged, it's ready, so let's do this. All right, okay, the burger is ready, it's time to do this. Um, you might notice I've got a very, very nice shirt on today. Um, I thought I'd wear it because it, it takes me to my happy place, 1995, Blackburn, winning the league. Um, yeah, I thought it might raise my spirits a bit. Anyway, here we go. Let's hope this is... My kind of get out of jail free cars that it really does revive the whole challenge. Actually it tastes way better than anything I've eaten for a while. There's some flavour to it, it tastes on you know. Okay. Sorry, manners. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It's still, it's still massively chewy. It still needs a bit of drink to lubricate it on the way down. You know, keeps bouncing on back even after you've chewed it. But flavour wise, that is far superior to anything I've eaten all of this week. I should have had it long before now. Okay, I can eat this. That's, it's my first win in a little while. Right, um, whilst that rib burger may have tasted better than anything I have eaten, um, it is having exactly the same effect on my tummy. It is just doing the fandango, you know, dancing away in there, and I've pooed again already. Um, I'm going to make an executive decision, and I'm going to win the challenge. Um, yet, yeah, I could starve myself for the rest of the today and tomorrow, um, and technically, I would have completed the challenge, seven days eating only Rosslers. But I think, you know, being an alpha male, part of that is is being honest, is standing up and saying, look, you can't win them all. Sometimes you do get defeated, and this is one of those times. Oh, God, did you hear that? Just rumbling. Um, yeah, I mean, that is, that is what's happened here. I'm not going to fudge it through. I'm not going to starve myself just to make it through and say I've completed the challenge. I'm going to set an example and say it's, you know, sometimes it is okay to say you're struggling. And that is massively the case here. Um, I'm going to eat some porridge. I'm going to kind of nurse my stomach with some normal foods and try and get it back on solid ground. And I am going to set the example and say, you know, this challenge, I have failed. And I'm sorry if some of you feel let down. I do feel like I've let some of you down, but I really have given it my best. Um, in terms of the next challenges, I'm going to stick away from eating challenges for a couple of weeks until my stomach is, you know, much, much calmer. Um, I'm going to go and do a paranormal camping challenge, um, hopefully next week. So we do something a bit different. Uh, if there are any challenges you want to see me do, please leave them in the comment section. Um, and I am off on my travels again soon, so you get some more holiday videos. Um, yeah, massive thank you to everyone who's watched. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. If you didn't, do leave a dislike. I wouldn't blame you. I've not done brilliantly in this one. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching.